Pella Sawadogo fled to Gaji village two years ago when insurgents attacked, killing her neighbours and brother-in-law. She thought she'd escaped certain death, but last week one of her daughters, Marie, was diagnosed with malaria. She got some more medicine and we were told to go back home. That was the last prescription she got before passing away at home on Sunday. It affected me a lot. I can't sleep at night. I can't eat. More than 400,000 people die every year from the mosquito-borne disease, most within sub-Saharan Africa and mostly children under five years old. But there is hope. In an exclusive interview with VOA, the director of Oxford University's Jenner Institute says their new malaria vaccine, tested in Burkina Faso, is showing game-changing results. So what's so exciting about this result is that 140 malaria vaccine candidates have been tried in clinical trials over the years, and none of them has come up with an efficacy over 75%. That's what the WHO, the World Health Organization, is looking for to be really useful in controlling malaria in Africa. In our first attempt with this vaccine, we see 77%, and we think we can improve on that further. So so it's real progress, it's, it's unprecedented. The Jenner Institute says the cost of the new vaccine is expected to be very low and believes widespread use would prevent hundreds of thousands of deaths in Africa each year. While testing is not yet complete, the initial results are also raising hopes with medical aid groups like Doctors Without Borders, MSF. If the modalities, the characteristics, would make it well feasible to roll out in Africa, that could indeed be a game changer. The malaria vaccine is entering the third phase of trials in Burkina Faso, Kenya, Mali and Tanzania and could be widely available in as little as two years. But the Jenner Institute, which developed the AstraZeneca coronavirus vaccine, is talking to regulators to see if this vaccine can also be fast-tracked for quicker use. We're making the point that more people died of malaria in Africa last year by a factor of maybe four than died of COVID. So why isn't malaria a priority? The malaria vaccine will come too late to save the millions who have died over the years, including Sawadogo's daughter Marie. But perhaps by the time Pauline is old enough to understand what happened to her twin sister, malaria deaths could be a rarity in Africa instead of a day-to-day -day reality. Henry Wilkins for VOA News, Kaya, Burkina Faso.